Good morning all and welcome to the fifth Sunday of Lent daily reflection. I would like to also introduce myself. I'm Louise Fitzgerald and I work in the Kairos Community Trust and I would also like to say thank you to the Oblets for giving me an opportunity to contribute in this way and also thank you for all of the work you do and when we go to Lords as well but also for the reflection groups I can say it's been really amazing and beautiful and very connecting for people in all different countries um, we in the Oblate community are so grateful that you have joined us so that we can comfort each other and support one another by praying together and live as a community of faith and hope. In the midst of these difficult days, we know that we cannot physically come together to pray and support one another. Therefore, we thank you for joining us online. As we continue our Lenten journey together, let us remember in a special way those who are currently ill or isolated. We also pray for those who have lost their lives to COVID-19 around the world. We pray too for their families and for all who are grieving. We pray also for all of the NHS workers, the charity workers, the volunteers throughout the world that are working effortlessly, often 24 hours, hardly any sleep, trying to save lives and preserve them and support families and I pray also that they will have that support too. Let us begin our time of prayer together. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Lord, may we feel your comforting touch. May we hear the wisdom of your word. May we know your healing within us. May we remember your gracious giving, transforming the seed into shoot and blossom, spreading its sweet perfume. May we trust that our lives lived with you can fill our land with the gentle fragrance of your kingdom alive. Take away our resentment, fear, apathy, indifference, greed. Empty us that there may be a beautiful space in us for new things to happen. Shower us with your creating love. And this is a text from the Old Testament from Jeremiah 31 to 33. I will put my law within them and I will write it on their hearts. The Gospel reading today is from John 12, 30 to 33. Now there were some Greeks among those who went up to worship at the festival. They came to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee, with a request. Sir, they said, we would like to see Jesus. Philip went to tell Andrew. Andrew and Philip in turn told Jesus. Jesus replied, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. Anyone who loves their life will lose it, while anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am my servant will also be. My father will honour the one who serves me. Now my soul is troubled, and what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. No, it was for this very reason I came to this hour. Father, glorify your name. Then a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and will glorify it again. The crowd that was there and heard it said it had thundered. Others said an angel had spoken to him. So we'll just have a few moments now to reflect on that reading.
Thank you. Jesus experienced all of the human emotions of knowing his fate, which was to die on the cross, in physical agony and suffering. This filled him with fear and dread. He was willing to do this for God his Father and had complete faith in him by the sacrifice of his physical life for humankind. In the Gospel reading, a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies. It remains a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. The same patterns of loss and renewal can be seen in the changing of the seasons. A new life growing in the womb. Grief and acceptance. Relationships with others. Letting go of resentments, fear, greed and being indifferent. Jesus' suffering and the emotional pain that Mary as a mother felt must have hurt her heart deeply, seeing her son nailed to the cross. What comes to mind is that there is still in the world torturing and killing of people, groups for their lifestyle, beliefs, religion, power and greed. And also for any beliefs that they have that are outside the norm. In our community, specific groups or individuals are also ostracised. But every day in life, there is an opportunity for change, to spend more time listening, draw closer to the God of my understanding or yours, but put in effort to do so. Growth can be slow and takes time, for example, with a seed blossoming into a flower, but needs attention and nurturing. The flowers and leaves will wither away and die, but over time they renew and they grow. Jesus' death was not in vain because his message was spread throughout the world. We are all significant and make up a community such as Kairos and the Oblitz family too, that has enabled us all to connect with each other in the world. Many loved ones, spiritual leaders, humble persons have left an imprint on my heart by their example of faith and courage and being one among many. It leaves a legacy that continues for generations to come. I'd just like to close with a short prayer. I pray that I may really try to do God's will in all my affairs. I pray that I may do all I can to help others find God's will for them. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening today and I wish you a very good day and um, look forward to seeing you again very soon in the morning at the Reflections. Thank you. Bye.